That was called on Maizo. Oh, sorry, on Maizo rather. That's right. Mahigpit ang ating mga ref, ha? Umpisa pala. Oh. All, so far, the referees are doing an excellent job in calling those, uh, you know, tawag na nandiyan, mga technical uh, calls. Santiago blocked solid by Alarca and Jack Cruz. There was no way she was able, she was going to get that ball through. Well read play. Look at this. Look at the double blocking of Dela Sal right all over that ball of Santiago. Right there. Uh, Ian, I think we're looking at a very, very experienced Alarca yeah. going up against a rookie in Santiago. Yeah. That's Alarca right. just knew exactly what to do and Santiago is like a robot at this point. Just doing it like in practice. They know how to adjust. That's right. Sabi siguro ni Alarca, limang taon na ako dito. Oh. <laughs> Ikaw, pag-iisabal. <laughs> Pero bumawi sa tabakero. She right. has experience behind her naman. Again, she, the rookie blocker, although she's number one. Of course, mm. tabakero has a lot of tricks up her sleeve. Nice combination attack. Oh, almost a save there by Toronto of USD. But you see, both teams really going for all, all of the uh, attacks yep. coming their way. We're seeing a lot of great plays, both in offense and in defense. Curato, an excellent libero. Uh, I'm sure she prepared really for this one. Uh, alam niya siguro kung magtatrabaho siya ngayong hapon na ito against LaSalle. Sana siya hindi na po yan. <laughs> oh, free ball here for LaSalle. Oh! Oh, the kill from C. Joran C. going cross for the Philippine player for uh, LaSalle. Showing great. everybody she's not just a good blocker. Huh? Yeah, great back set for C and that cross court hit. Obviously, one blocker not enough to control C. <laughs> And we talked about the matchup between Santiago and C, the two stellar rookies. Wow. The both teams, Alarca again, just dominating at the net. Wow, these players from both sides, De La Salle now having the advantage in that department of blocking. Si Pagot, dalawa pa rin, nag-double jump on that second uh, sequence. Three ball. Oh, no reception there. But La Salle, De La Salle... USD another chance, balls back to LaSalle. Step Mercado just gives it the way she knows how it's going to score. Don't think it's power play. Yeah, you're play. right. If, if you notice, uh, she got two points already from that off-speed hit, and USD probably expecting her to hit very hard all the time. She changes it up, and she catches USD off guard in those two attempts. A couple of good serves already from Chuck Cruz. Three ball, now Three ball again for LaSalle there. Mercado trying to go cross court. The Bacero was on her. Oh, Mercado all the way there. Coming from that attack, she goes for a solo block and scores. You know what? As a player, that feels so good. Yeah. You block solo. Really time your jump. Look at how high she goes up and gets a block against Maizo. Talk about Sipag. Talaga namang sulit na sulit yung Sipag. Yung kasipagan ito si Steph Mercado. The Bacero is Gonna go and go and yep. go. Now it's up to Rea de Makulangan to make or set up a play to avoid mm-hmm. the, that very effective De La Salle block. Now she goes There's on Maizo. Oh, look at that. Oh. Like that. Oh. What happened there? She slipped. She was on her way to for that second touch to probably set it up, but she unfortunately slipped and all of a sudden no one got to the ball. Wow, Chuck Cruz is saying, Sayon, ganda pa naman yung tick ko. It's too close. It's not too close. It's too close, but the sound makes something out of nothing and they are now at 60 points ahead of USD. Three-point lead this time for the Lady Spikers. We'll be back. the last game of the season of women's volleyball here at the UAAP. My name is Chikiro Puno with Ian Laurel. Animo Nasal, there is the uh, big uh, fan base of, of the LSU yep. match, of course, by the fans in yellow. Just as many of them. Panay, be my day. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day. Let's see if... Uh... This is Panay, of course, is Steph Mercado. Yeah, right. That was her nickname. Responding now to that second technical timeout. They are trailing by three. And that's how big 
that's how much blocking can do for you. Sudden turnaround with De La Salle getting points off the block. Mistake there, not force error at the attack coming from Steph Mercado. That set was a bit far from the net. She uh -huh. had to adjust, chose to just hit it off speed. Unfortunately, not enough juice on that one, and uh, USC now down by only one. Oh, this is going outside. That's already three. Uh, my count. Of course, the errors, or rather, service errors coming from USD. And again, like I said, La Salle needs no help in yep. scoring. Those are easy points, giveaway points for De La Salle. Nice set. Nice set. Oh, that went outside. And just these mistakes plaguing the Tigers is now. They call a timeout. The service is just lang natin. Lang lang, yun lang, ha? Pag ginagaw, matras ka ulit. Medyo, ano? players probably feeling the pressure at this point. Once you see those uh, tall blockers of De La Salle in front of you, you got to step up to the challenge. Mike Ortiz he has to score in that quick position, that quicker position to split up the blocks or probably confuse the blockers of De La Salle. Caballero pushing the ball. Ah, mm. and we just saw that coming from La Salle. This time it's Isa Maizo with the air on the attack there trying to slow things down wow. as well. Isa Maizo almost failing to uh, touch that ball. And just a spate of errors coming from the Tigresses. Three in a row, in fact. All three points for the Sun, they didn't have to work for. That's right. Finally, the Tigresses get the ball back. It's now the build attack of USC that's keeping them here in the first set. The outside hitters, such as Tabaquero, Caballero, and Mize are being controlled by the block, so uh, I think they got to give it more to that middle attack. Tabaquero. What a save. From behind the attack line, Chacruz, Curato this time, answering the ball. Caballero going up, dinking the ball. Steph Mercado was on that one. Chacruz from behind the attack okay. line, failed outside. That's also the danger of going from behind the attack line. Because you know you have to make it a little stronger. Kasi nga, pa -aabutin that's sa right, that's right. And you gotta be content. Sometimes the sets would, wouldn't be the best oh. sets when you set to the back line. Kadalasan yan. Uh, wala namang ibang mapagbigyan. Oh. Kaya sa'yo na lang binigay. Kabalera going up again. Larka with a big. USD sets up. Kabalera one more time. Marano putting the ball up. Alarca over. Gotta give it. Dima Ortiz. Going Ortiz. There you go. Ortiz. Today. That's right, Ortiz. Uh, she get more touches. She's playing excellent uh, quick plays. So not only in the front, but also those running back plays. Now it's just down to a one-point lead. And I think they recognize that, as you said, Ian, it's all about the middle, the center yeah. strikers, the middle the middle hitters, because uh, bantay na bantay yung mga outside. Correct, correct. So, ngayon, kung bibigay mo sa outside sets, nababantayan, but right now, we're tied at 19. Dallas are calling this time out.